The rank and file begin filing in today. Monday, the two-a-days signal the start of the first ever training camp. It's what we've all waited for since the dark day that Bud Adams announced a deal with Nashville. Here's Matt Samsel. Asked how it felt arriving at his first NFL training camp, quarterback David Carr said, it felt hot. The temperature will get even higher when the Texans hit the field Monday. It'll be a crash course for the youngest team in the NFL. The first team in the league to open up camp has a short time to get ready for contact against the Dallas Cowboys in their August 2nd scrimmage. And then the Hall of Fame game against the Giants three days after that. These first two weeks at training camp are the most concentrated effort that you have. Uh, you are preparing, so to speak, for a game that week. You know, we'll be doing all of our installations. Uh, we'll be doing a lot of evaluation. I'm not going to say training camp's easier it's, or it's a lot of fun, but uh, in college you have 30 practice or 30 days before you play a game. I mean, you scrimmage against your guys three or four times. Uh, but we're going to get right into it. We're going to start scrimmaging the Cowboys, and then the next game it's going to be here as soon as we know it. Carr is ready to face the pressure, face the Houston heat, and the media over and over and over again throughout the rest of his career. That's what happens when you're a quarterback in the National Football League. And as usual, the even-keeled, cool-as-a-cucumber car doesn't flinch. It's something that comes with the territory, I guess. Uh, at Fresno, it was the same way. We started winning some football games at no level that it is here. But uh, you just take it as it is and, and go about it because, you know, I mean, it's, it's fun playing football, and this is the stuff that comes with it. Just uh, try to avoid any of those landmines that may come about. But uh, there'll be something that will be new this year that you guys will come up with. But uh, everything uh, so far, David has handled everything pretty well. Camp is a time when players build a bond, and the team comes together on and off the field. No other position is more dependent on the bond of five good men than the offensive line. It's five guys working as one, really. So, I mean, that's why, you know, a lot of times offensive linemen don't get individual credit because, you know, we all work so well as a unit together. So I think it's, it's very important for us to get in there, bond, gel as quickly as possible because, I mean, we got a lot, of, a lot of money to protect in that backfield. And this should be more intense with pads and two-a-days. You can't really let, let the intensity and the pressure, kind of, you know, get to you. You know, you got you know, you to stay poised. You know, you got to go out there and know that, that we all had the same common goal. And that's to become a team and get ready for the season. But this is going to be fun. You know, I've been in three training camps. But this one's going to be special because of all the new excitement around it. Matt Samson, Fox 26, Sports Extra Saturday. On the rise today as the Texans kick off their training camp. And the first Texans are getting ready for their inaugural season. And they are also getting plenty of attention. Well, I'm with sports director Bob Allen is at Reliant Park with more on today's big kickoff. Bobby? That's right, Tom Sherrill. A little bit of Houston history made today. Houston Texans with their first ever training camp practice. That happened about 8.45 this morning. Tonight at 7.15, they hit the field here under the lights for the first full pad workout. Joining me now, my colleague Tim Melton. And what were your impressions today, Tim? Uh, fever is the right word. It was hot. <laughs> but we're in Texas, aren't we? Uh, we've covered an awful lot of training camps all being the Oilers, right, right? right? And the thing that jumped out at me today about the first Texans training camp is, one, number one, uh, it's here in Houston. And secondly, there were more media members than football players. 97 names on the roster, 90 bodies in uniform this morning, and the head coach says he recognizes all of them. Yes, I can, because we've, we've had uh, a large number of meetings. First day of training camp and the first day wearing pads. I think uh, the first three, four days of pads and hitting people, you look forward to that. Then you look forward to that first preseason game. A lot of tension out there being released. And there's no tradition here. We're setting a tradition. And uh, I was telling some of those guys that, and, you know, whatever we do, it's going to carry over from years to come. So uh, we're pretty much setting the tone for ourselves. <laughs> After a six-year absence, it's nice to have the NFL back in town. It was never like this with the Oilers. The Texans have drawn attention from media around the state and the country. About 300 media credentials handed out for day one. And the rookie quarterback attracted the biggest crowd. To come in and be the first pick, and um, you still want to earn what you get. you know. And that's, uh, that's been something that's kind of stuck with me. So I try and work as hard as everybody else out there. Even if I'm getting a little more attention, it's uh, just hard for me to grasp right now. 
And the thing about David Carr is they got to protect him. They have to keep him healthy. And, Bob, that's going to be a story we'll talk about coming up at 6 o'clock because the guy that we thought would protect David Carr from the left tackle spot may not be the guy we thought. It may be a rookie. That's intriguing. Yes, and that could be dangerous. They'll, they'll have to <laughs> first practice under the lights and in front of the fans. And good evening, friends. I'm Dave Ward. And I'm Melanie Lawson in tonight for Sheriff Fryer. We've all been waiting a long time for football to return to Houston, and tonight marked a major step along the way. I'm going to Sports Director Bob Allen begins our live team coverage from Reliant Park. Bob? All right, David. Awful good to see pro football back in Houston. Texas just finished up the first full day of training camp. They had it, as you said, under the lights. All went well this morning as well. So now, two practices down, only 39 to go. Full pads, baby. Want to see some hidden? Tonight, 90 of the 97 players on the roster were on the field in full pads for the first time in team history. It was a little cooler out here tonight than it was this morning when the Texans opened up the first mini camp. They got a lot done, but everyone from player to coach to water boy will tell you, They've got a long way to go. There's a lot of first practice mistakes that you make, but uh, I certainly can't fault the effort. And, and guys were flying around, and that's where it all starts. Tonight, the stands were packed with fans who were lucky enough to get the free tickets. Texans under the lights. Now, historically speaking, this is the first NFL training camp ever in Houston. The Oilers held their camps all over the state, once even in Hawaii, but never in Houston. So it was a treat for the fans and the players. This was the first day the players all worked together for the first time in pads, and they admittedly have some adjusting to do. But that's what camp is for. I thought it would be a little more crisp, but I think guys are coming off that little five-week break and a little rusty, but we'll get it together. We've got enough time. You know, just a little shaky, you know, in some areas. You know, some things you got to come back and work on, and you just got to get, you know, in football shape, you know, carrying the pads around and, and that kind of thing. So, but other than that, you know, everybody came out. They were eager to work. And tomorrow, it's just one a day, one practice tomorrow. It's at 3.15 tomorrow afternoon. Coming up a little bit later in sports, we'll talk to more of the players and the coaches about this historic night in Houston sports history. Reporting live from Texans training camp, Bob Allen, 13 Eyewitness Sports.